Next, we will discuss the preparation stage of a statistical study. When preparing for a statistical study, it is important to consider the context, the purpose, and the methods. Based on the methods, we can classify a statistical study in the following way. In an observational study, researchers simply observe characteristics and take measurements, as in a sample survey. In a designed experiment, researchers impose treatments and controls first, and then observe characteristics and take measurements. Note that in an observational study, someone is observing data that already exists. That is, the data were there and would be there regardless of whether someone was observing it or not. In a design experiment, however, the data do not exist until someone does the experiment. That is, produces the data. Several studies have been conducted to analyze the relationship between vasectomies and prostate cancer. One such study found 113 cases of prostate cancer among 22,000 men who had a vasectomy. This compares to a rate of 70 cases per 22,000 among men who didn't have a vasectomy. The study shows about a 60% elevated risk of prostate cancer for men who have had a vasectomy. Do you think this is an observational study or a design experiment? The correct answer is this is an observational study, because the subjects were simply observed and the data was simply recorded. For several years, evidence had been mounting that folic acid reduces major birth defects. In one such study, the doctors enrolled 4,753 women prior to conception and divided them randomly into two groups. One group took daily multivitamins containing 0.8 milligrams of folic acid, whereas the other group received only trace elements. A drastic reduction in the rate of major birth defects occurred among the women who took folic acid, 13 per 1,000, as compared to 23 per 1,000 for those women who did not take folic acid. Do you think this is an observational study or a design experiment? The correct answer is this is a design experiment, because the subjects were not just simply observed, but were randomly assigned a treatment to control the experiment. Through an observational study, one may observe an association, positive or negative, between the two variables. That is, the growth of one variable can be linked to the growth or decline of the other variable. Do not confuse an association with a causation, when the change in one variable directly triggers the change in the other variable. Remember that association does not imply causation. It is important to understand that observational studies can only reveal an association, and to establish the causation between the two variables, one has to design an experiment. Two variables may be strongly associated because they are both related to another variable called a lurking variable, which is a variable previously not considered that causes changes in the two variables under consideration. In the following examples, what do you think a lurking variable is, assuming that a strong association between the two variables was observed? A strong association can be observed between the average number of computers per person in a country and that country's average life expectancy. But it doesn't mean that the number of computers may increase the life expectancy, nor vice versa. Both variables can be related to the country's GDP. A strong association can also be observed between the number of firefighters at a fire and the damage caused by the fire, but it doesn't mean that more firefighters cause more damage to the property. Both variables can be related to the intensity of the fire. If you want to learn more about the differences between the association and causation, I invite you to read the history of the US Stop Smoking movement. The tobacco companies fought for a long time against the idea of causation as it was hard to argue the strong association between the tobacco consumption and the risk of lung cancer. We discussed the preparation stage of a statistical study. Next, we will discuss the next stage of a statistical study, collecting data.